let me warn you this is likely to be a longish one i am going to talk to you about uh, what happens when the market goes down let us say we are now in a very steady market the market the sensex is around 48 49000 and it uh, seems to be that goes up a little comes down a little some psu banks don't do well then psu banks do well something is happening but nothing great is happening many people who are doomsdayers uh, who call themselves whatever titles but not market people who do not invest in the market remember there are two set of commentators those who only comment about the market people like uh, people who are like uh, uh, bloggers people who write for magazines uh, have their own um, uh, videos or uh, writing uh, blogs etc who do not invest or who invest a very small portion of their uh, money <coughs> in equities at least and there is another set of people who are full time equity investors now these people are equity investors for a living so they may or may not be making money in their own portfolio but they make money by managing other people's portfolio then there is a third person who is uh, an investor who makes money by investing right so all these three categories of the people are uh, there online on uh, social media and they're pretty noisy right so let us see what happens when there is a slight fall these doomsdayers will come and say at last the market is catching up with the economy first of all market and the economy are not necessarily connected on a hour to hour basis so don't think that because there is some problem uh, some pandemic some or uh, some law panchayat election results have come or something so immediately in the next 5 minutes the market has to react market just thinks uh, whether it is worth reacting so some of this news you will not see an impact at all it doesn't mean it has not had an impact there has been an impact but you have not seen it right for example if there is an earthquake in one place definitely they have a you will have some shares going down and some shares going up people will say oh uh, earthquake does not affect standing crop so it's okay sugar industry may not be affected right so you never know how the market is going to react don't get into uh, how the market should react don't don't try to tell the market what it should do it knows what it will do Uh, then there are people who will tell you oh this pandemic is going to finish the market there is no uh, early retirement early retirement has gone for a toss because the market is down by 20 30% whatever let us assume that the market is down by 20 25% like i keep saying the forthcoming crash uh, it does not mean that early retirement is gone early retirement happens largely because the p- person is able to spend very less that is the reason why that person is able to retire not because he's got a lot of money that of course he should have enough money but that's not the reason the reason is he, le- he has learned to live a simpler life right? that is the reason why the market that is why he is able to retire early so yes the impact of the market of the pandemic will be felt we do not know which pharma company will do well though we know that hospitals are doing well and if you see the equity markets the hospitals are doing well right apollo hospital or uh, fortis they are all uh, those shares are doing well even if the company may not be making profits or whatever uh, company these companies are doing well right i mean of course apollo is profitable but uh, fortis may not be profitable but still it's the share price is doing well uh you are sure that uh, the corona virus is going to mean that people will do more zoom calls but we have been doing zoom kind of calls we have been doing skype calls we are doing whatsapp calls even earlier yes the possibility is there will be more such calls but i'm sure the physical mode will start soon because people will say no no there is nothing like a physical touch let's do the let's do training at least in the bigger cities so that is how these uh, all that which we say that oh we will no longer travel that is wrong people will travel for example i'm yearning to attend a big bag big uh, fat indian wedding right you want those experiences you want to go out meet people i want to do training in a classroom how much of virtual training can you do you have to go and meet people manage the social animal so those changes will happen we, we will go out we will eat out we will fly then there will also be a stage when we are not able to get uh, tickets in a plane because everybody is flying all these things will happen we do not know when so share price reflect the best estimate of the value of the firm's share into pros- into 
uh, say uh, perpetuity lifelong how much will be the what happens to a company which just shuts down after five years the company has just gone for a toss that the way of giving medicines has changed so people are no longer using pills people are buying uh, medicated shirts they're buying medicated uh, rings they're buying medicated uh, what what have you and wearing it and their body gets better right so what happens if different kinds of uh, giving medicine are found then how will the pharma industry survive what will happen we don't have answers for any of those things but yes the uh, corona virus looks like a typical upper respiratory uh, tract in uh, infection it will run its course so in 2022 or 2023 we will be talking about where to go how to go who all will go with, which airline will we fly. Today, such talk looks ridiculous that when the whole world is dying, you want to talk about these things. But yes, in six months time or three months time, we will start talking about those things. This is not the end of the world. What has happened is yes, bad, very bad, but it's not the end of the world. Markets will fluctuate and markets will look like it's the end of the market at various stages, but it is not the end because there will always be somebody who wants to invest and somebody who has the need to raise money from the public. He will come out with an IPO uh, and uh, you know all those things will happen. There will always be new businesses happening. There will always be old businesses closing down. All these things will happen. And uh, remember, markets can go down. Markets can stay down for a longer period of time. But if you take... 1979 to uh, 2021 market has gone up yes there will be violently coming down 1993 it came down 46% right so these things will happen but it does not mean that you will stop investing and wait and say oh let the market fluctuation be over that is not going to happen uh, it takes a very great guy to be able to short the market and make money. George Soros made and everybody will tell you stories about how George Soros made. But your friend is not George Soros, your classmate is not George Soros, your, uh, uh, <coughs> your investing advisor is not George Soros. So they don't know anything about uh, timing. So don't think that your RIA or your MFD is expected to know market timing. He does not know market timing. You have to learn it yourself if you want to do something in that. So I think that's the end of it. Thank you.